Please pray with me. Loving God, put into my mouth the words you would have me to speak and put into our hearts the words you would have us to hear. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hi, it's Pastor Joe Hensley from St. George's, and I want to share with you something from the Gospel according to Mark, one of the readings for this Sunday. And in this story, someone comes to Jesus and wants to know, what is the most important thing that God commands us to do? And Jesus answers this way. The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Jesus goes back to some of the scriptures that he knew and finds two of the commandments. The first from Deuteronomy, love God who is one with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second is tucked away in the book of Leviticus. And you say Leviticus, it's one of those books in the Old Testament. Love your neighbor as yourself. And those two commandments together are the greatest. What's the word that you, that you heard in both of those commandments? Love. Love God. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love is the greatest commandment. But how do we love? How do we love God? How do we love each other? Well, let me ask you, how do you show love to the people you love? Maybe you tell them, I love you. Maybe you give them a hug or you do something for them to show them that you care, to show them that you will stick by them no matter what. Well, how do we do that for God? God is so much greater and it's hard to give God a hug. One of the ways that we show love for God is through getting to know God, through the words of the scriptures, through the stories of the Bible that teach us about who God is. And we also love God by praying and opening our hearts and our mouths to God and one of the ways that we pray is by coming together in church. I mean, you can pray at home, you can pray with your family, you can not even have to say a word and just be with God. But one of the ways that we do pray together is by coming into the church, and we have some special prayers that we say together, and there, you might have seen these books in our pews. This is called the Book of Common Prayer. It's the book of prayers that we pray in common or together. This is the book that we have that's most recent. But there have been a number of other books before, and people have been coming together at St. George's now for 300 years to love God through prayer. I've got another book here that somebody gave me recently. This book is another book of common prayer. It's so old, I'm having to hold it with this cloth. It's so, it's so fragile. And this book is just as old as our church building itself. It has some different words in it than our book does, but the same message of love God. Love your neighbor, love yourself. On Sunday, we're gonna have a special service and we're gonna use the words of a prayer book that was from 300 years ago. The, the same words that the people who started St. George's would have used. And as we pray those words, we're going to remember all the people that came before all the holy saints of God, all the ones who's got, whom God has loved in this place. And we will remember the ways in which they loved God and prayed together. And we will remember the ways in which they loved their neighbors as themselves. The church has been loving our neighbors by feeding those who, are, who need food or providing a home for those who need a home. And most importantly, providing a place where people who are searching for the love of God can come and feel welcome and remember that God 
loved us first. That greatest commandment, love God, love your neighbor as yourself, we are given that commandment by the God who loved us before, before all of this was created. God loves us. God loves us so much that God gave God's only son, Jesus, to come and be with us, to share that message of love, to show us the love that sticks by us no matter what, the love that cannot even be killed, that rises from the dead. That love of God is such a gift. And because we have received that gift of love, we are commanded to love God and to love our neighbor and to love ourselves. How will you show love for God and for others and for yourself today, this week? How will you spend time with God and show God you care? How will you show, spend time with others and show them your love? How will you help others and let them know that you stand by them no matter what. Love God, love your neighbor, love yourself. On these commandments are based all the other things that we do, and there is nothing greater, nothing greater than love.